In the past episodes, we have seen Shamate sharing uh, the inner mysteries of how a production and a choreography m is mounted. We again welcome Shamate in some more discussions about choreography and its facets. Uh, a very interesting approach here uh, in Kasnurba uh, is that you have converted the non-abstract to abstract. And then there are other productions on uh, Baudelaire's poems and on Raza's paintings which might go from the uh, abstract to the non-abstract. So how has been your interplay of this in the context of Baudelaire's poems and the context of Raza's paintings? I uh, see a very distinct style of methodology of playing with me, these two sections and understanding these two sections very well. We, uh, in dance, in any classical dance, we have nritya and nritya abstract and concrete, if I could use that word. So, in our, when we learn, we learn both, that we you deal with concrete term, a theme, and we also learn to deal with abstract, like just rhythm, just music, and the space, and the lines the body lines, everything. In Kathak, I think that we were always <coughs> told and trained and ex were, we were very, very nicely, we, Raniji explained it to us very nicely that the, even the body line has to show the emotion. So, like for Radha's grief, because Krishna has left. I even today, I will tell them that you have to drain out your body, not just grief with Mukhaj or with Hastak, but drain out. So, Raniji was very specific and very particular about this. So, I really knew that uh, body lines could depict the emotions, in a way not very directly probably. So, whenever I feel that uh, I would show it, this is, I would say, and this is because of Rohiniji, I want to really, really say it again, that this is a lady uh, named Radha probably, right. But now Krishna has left, so she is, so the body also shows, prob now she knows that he is no, somebody tells her he is coming, so it is, so the body also expresses the emotion or I would say the body line also supports the emotion. So that was for Baudelaire's poems. Baudelaire's, Baudelaire, I do not read and write French, so I read all the poems in English and then chose some which the theme was beauty for me. And those poems are very abstract. And I have my abstraction is my strength in my, my, my medium, right? He talks about uh, abstraction, about Gandha, about Sur, and we all have that. So he is giving abstraction and giving me creating metaphors, which we always do. And other thing I want to specify is like. Krishna, right? We all talk about Krishna all the time. Katha talks even more, okay. But we talk about Krishna. What is Krishna? An icon. So, we have this. We also have this. But this is not Krishna. Krishna is about like Adhuram, Madhuram. It is about the positivity. So, is it about Vasari? No. It is about the music it creates. Is it about the music? No. It is about the divine music it creates. Is it about this divine music? No. It is about the effect it has on the animate and inanimate objects around Krishna. So, it is about in a way a principle which creates positivity around. So, that is how my thought process goes when I talk about, uh, when I want to create so, in Baudelaire's poems, like uh, uh, there was this poem where he says, 
uh, journey, musical journey. He says that I am travelling and the goal is Elysium. So, I said to myself, it happens to me every day, my son is Elysium. And I tried to reach it. The moment I reach it, I feel it is travelled some more. So, I used that uh, Sadharanikaran universalization or similarity in very simple words. And I um, play, with it, play with this whole idea. Play with that. And uh, so, about space division, I used a very um, interesting concept in Budle's poems. I had just one level in the back and otherwise three fourths of the frontal stage was open for dancers. But I decided that not at any point the dancers would not cross. Picheka, the background dancers had a darker costume, the frontal dancers had a light costume. They would not cross, their areas were specific. The background dancers were depicting the substance or the content and the frontal dancers were actually talking about the poem. So, the interplay was very interesting and that two of this specific. Again, for the dancers in the back about music, what I really wanted to do and which I could not is I wanted to have different music track for them and different music for them, these which I did not could not do because my music composer said that it would create chaos. So, I said for you, I want for you, I want you to work only with rhythm and that rhythm is not what they are using, it is your own rhythm. Like we all are used to 1, 2, 3, 4, we are masters and champions at that. So, I use that and front I created music. And again that interplay was because you could see like musical journey when I said the hum was illusive, the destination was illusive, in behind they were just um, ocean and ongoing journey, bus behind the five dancers were doing just that. And front they were saying that this illusive sum is evading me and I am trying to capture. So, like that. So, it was very interesting process. When it comes to uh, Nadabindu, Raza's paintings, uh, that again uh, the paintings are very abstract in nature and you have an abstract form. So, how do you deal with two abstract forms here and yet you have to reach out to the audience about the idea and interpretation of this? It was uh, when I uh, was thinking about Razaji and I am not telling you this, but I want to tell my young friends this, that um, when I did Baudelaire's poems or when I did uh, Razaz, um, I tried and almost succeeded in looking at his work, all his work. I cannot say all, but most of his work. And then I met his admirers. I read all about him. Same with Baudelaire. I read 200 poems in English and chose only seven. Then I spoke to many people who had studied Baudelaire. With Raza, I met his students. I met his admirers because I feel that it is important for you to know not just one poem, two poem, but about the person and about the person's um, and thought process, yes. perception about life. Like when I was doing Baudelaire, I already knew <coughs> that he was on drugs. I think whether I show whether in my work, whether I show that he was on drugs or not is not the point. It is for me to know that because as a young girl, we of course know about Ganja and Kashish, but uh, young people were not still, we, they were away from drugs. And I think about, I talk about a poet from last century, 
he is already on drugs. So, there is a contradiction which I ought to know and that is the reason I am saying all this. So, Raza's I saw all I could keep my hands on and I saw the, I discussed it with many people and I realized that he was of course, as we all know abstract, he is talking about abstract, but it is interestingly he has a title. So, why the title? So, he is indicating something. Would you agree that he is indicating something? Otherwise, he would left, leave it untitled, which he didn't, which he does not. So, there is something he wants to say. And as I have abstract form to my advantage, I, in bit, I chose I think five, five pictures. Three I said I would uh, deal with abstract idiom the way I think about it and two I deliberately said I would choose to give a concept. Sometimes his concept, sometimes my concept on his painting. So, this was he says Nada Bindu that is his name I borrowed. We have Nad and we have Bindu and we have Nada Bindu. So, that is how I started working. Again his pictures, if you really see the lines, they are, there are many circles, there are many triangles and the lines are throbbing. They are not um, fine. razor sharp they fine lines, fine. they are throbbing. So, that says something to me, the why are they throbbing. So, I worked on that. Then circles within the circles. So, I worked on different cycles in Tintal. Then the lines, short and long lines, I worked on that. And I said that when I look at the paintings, the circles first, they make an impact on me. So, for every painting, I showed different, different circles, different speeds, different angles, different axis. Yes with on different axes. So, sometimes they were like this, sometimes like, they were like, sometimes they were like this, sometimes like this and with different speeds. Sometimes one girl doing just half of, sometimes one doing full. So, the balance. So, that is how it first impression is circles and n number of circles with n number of effects on me. So, that how, that's how I started and slowly, slowly went into the content and again the colors. So, I just cannot tell you how it affected me, the colors. I have, I was, well, I was familiar with Razaji's paintings, but when you want to interact with those through dance, I think you have a different perception. As a Rasik, you watch a painting, it is different. Even if you watch it for half an hour, it is different. When you, Madhyamantar, when you want to translate it into your media, medium, I think it is different. So, you have to be very, uh, you have to analyze your own reactions. And decipher them and then put them in sequence. So, uh, because it has to make sense. Mm -hmm. it, it is another different uh, art story itself. In its art story. In. It has to make sense to you first before it makes sense to the viewer. Right? So, that is how I work. And I want to tell you about the two where I used uh, because it, I thought because he gives a title, I am, I have the right to uh, put a concept to it. So, one was ocean and uh, ocean was, uh, I said to myself that ocean is underneath and ocean is how do you, how one looks at it. So, both I wanted to and then I used a very Mm, 21 beach cycle. 
because I did not want again if I use 16 or it binds zeta I wanted to and then in this 21 because of my background of rhythm I said it has I would divide it in 777 every time I would first 7 I would treat rhythmically differently I would treat this 7 differently then I said I would e divide it as 10 and a half, 10 and a half. I would divide it as 5, 4, 4. So different. So I am trying to say that the surface looks calm, but underneath there is a lot of activity. tell you about the last painting of from Razaji which he called Sansara and all reds I have not in my life even yet until today seen so many reds together and not hurting the eyes. So, he called it Sansara. To me I said it is forest fire and he knows about it. He said oh you call it forest fire? Ok, I would draw another painting with that title which did not happen, but that is how he reacted. It was very interesting. Um, because I, why I thought of forest fire is because of the reds and there is some, it did not hurt the eyes, but there is some, how do I say violent um, balance in that, in those Great reds. Harm. So, I said with one speck it starts. So, I started with a jungle, night time jungle, every all the different different types of trees with and the animals and one spark and it all goes to ashes. So, I thought that is how I see this. So, that is what I want to this, say, interpreting, this particular interpreting it and not interpreting it the way he had he, seen it. So, a choreographer has one's own deliberation and interpretation of what he perceives and how that particular object or work inspires. I, I think uh, as an artist everybody has to have that freedom to, to have one's own insight. Uh, to one, because you do not uh, describe things as you see, you describe things as you perceive. perceive. That is so beautiful, seeing and perceiving. Uh, we feel that while you have been having an interplay of abstract and non-abstract, there has been a very interesting line of rhythm 
which helps you to interplay between these two aspects. And I remember this some very interesting anecdotes uh, in the context of one of your productions, which evolved into a rhythm collage. You would like to know uh, all about that project, your discoveries, your experiences. Actually, it started with uh, Trilog Goto's band Glimpse. I was a solo dancer there visiting European cities. Mm, it was a very strange equation because seven men and I, the only dancer. A dancer in a setup where I was more of a musician than a dancer. So they were in Trilok's mind. He is thinking of me, and I am sure about this. As a musician with gungrus and feet, he is not actually, he hasn't thought about me as a dancer in a musical setup. You know what I mean. So sometimes I would get only space uh, about a dining table top, not more than that. So when I started working with Trilok Gurtu, um, I had actually no apprehension. I thought that rhythm would, uh, because I had strong training in rhythm. So I knew that I would relate to his all his compositions, and there wouldn't be any problem. But I did not see the. I would say, "Ghi dekha, magar badga nahi dekha," because uh, the rhythm. I was used to relate to rhythm from tabla or harmonium, the melody or the sitar and suddenly I end up without any of this sound in my ear and even the rhythm which is universal. We all like to say that rhythm is universal but the madhyam, the medium is through a certain sound and that was different and I even then with rhythm I was comfortable, not uncomfortable, not maybe too happy, but comfortable. But with music, he was this uh, person, Italian person, but named Jaideva. He was playing his guitar, blaring right behind me, but I would not listen to his music. I would look for or wait for Indian sound, harmonium sound, sitar sound, because I just, there was such a gap that, and again you must uh, take it take into account that this is 1998, long back, when young people would not, were not exposed to a western sound to a degree like, like today. Sound. So, and as classical dancers, we would listen to a lot of classical music, but not really jazz. But eventually, I, that sound became familiar to me. I could, I got conditioned, I could relate to it, I could modify my movements to suit that sound and the musical phrases from guitar or from gimbri and all those music. So this production Rhythm Collage also was developed into a production of Rhythm Collage uh, after a few uh, a number of shows and I think that would be a different production altogether which started, it took off on a point and then it developed into yeah, That's right because when I was working with Trilok, I realized, suddenly realized the importance of sound dynamics. And I, rhythm I knew, as I said, because rhythm dynamics is in my blood, in Kathak. And with Suraj's guidance, I think that I really, I knew it quite well, I would say. But sound dynamics was different. And suddenly I realized that rhythm dynamics and sound dynamics together would create something different. And that's how I started working with him, working on this idea that uh, what would happen like a collage. So what would happen if one group of dancer or one dancer responds only to rhythm, only to drums? And what would happen if a one dance group of dancer would react 
only to the violin sir. So, now you can visualize the dynamics and one person with bass guitar, so always keeping the bass line. So, that dynamics separate and yet together was um, very, very exciting for me and actually it started with and that is the reason I called it collage, never called it fusion, never called it anything else not even confluence, I called it collage, because I can see the different uh, existence, different uh, entities. characters, entities of these three things, but as a viewer, I am watching it together and I am watching it also, so I make sure that together they make sense. <laughs> Shamate, I would uh, definitely like you to share uh, the anecdote of the mystery of the missing sum, where you wanted automatically you would highlight the sum and uh, Tilokji wouldn't want the sum to be highlighted. It was very strange, I tell you. This was at the end of the concert every time at the end of the concert. So, his composition was such that the last line would end in between and not on the sum. So, I am trained, jaysa Hindi mein mar mar ke sikhaya, ke you cannot end in between, like it would be like uh, staying, straying with the neighbours and not getting home. So, you had to go and reach, touch the sum, come what may. And he wanted me to stop in between because that is what his concept was. So, he said, Tai, we are not showing sum. So, I said, ok, because I understood it. But my muscle memory and my compulsions of my brain would make me give the sum so hard that he would, he would he was getting taken aback and I would say, Thai, some nice, some. So, I would say, yes, Trilo. Again, same story. I would hit it hard and then he was now getting angry because she is saying yes and doing the same thing. So, then I found a way. I said, like in that, we always show some with only neck or only Nazar. So, I used that tool and I hit hard up one bit before and for some I just did this. So, Trilok happy, I happy <laughs> and solution found, situation solved. Yes, of course. It has been a great experience uh, hearing from Shamatai about her perception about choreography and its facets. We will be talking about this much more in our next episode.